The Göttingen Model Book and the Illumination of the Gutenberg Bible The copy of the Gutenberg Bible now in Göttingen, which in 2001 was added to the UNESCO Memory of the World Index, is distinguished by illumination of quite exceptional quality. This illumination has been found to have had a model as regards both form and colouring. This was a particular model book, now also in Göttingen, which had itself been produced in Mainz. A series of detailed instructions, which also embrace the production of painting materials, take the reader through the procedure for drawing the traditional decorative device known as a canthus leaf scroll work, and then for colouring it pale red on the upper surface of the leaf, pale green or blue on the underside. Comparison of the model book with the pages of the Gutenberg Bible now in Göttingen reveals that the former was followed by those illuminating the latter. The acanthus leaf scrollwork is to be found on numerous pages of the Bible. For example, at the beginning of the book of Genesis, in the gigantic initial I of the word incipit, as in, here beginneth the first book of Moses, which takes up the space of 31 lines of text. And, similarly, as an extension of the initial letter H at the start of the book of Deuteronomy, or at the start of the Gospel according to St. John, as decoration of the line at the start of the column, reflected in turn in the lower part of the margin. The model book includes especially detailed instructions on the decorative schemes for use with large initial letters. To begin with, the vellum has to be cleaned. Then, circles have to be drawn and a checkerboard pattern inserted into them. These outline patterns then have to be filled in, initially with gold leaf, then with blue, red and green. Some of the squares can be decorated with crosses and to those painted blue can be added delicate rosettes, delineated in lead white. A superb example of the application of this technique is to be found in the decoration of the initial letter F, in the initial letter V of the word vocavit, and in the initial letter H at the start of the book of Deuteronomy. These instructions were evidently followed by the illuminators of the Bible in Göttingen. In the body of the initial letter I on page 5 recto, that of the initial letter I at the start of the Gospel according to St. John, in principio erat verbum, in the beginning was the word, or that of the initial letter O at the start of the book of Nahum, and finally in the combination of gold leaf and old rose with lead white, in the body of the initial letter P at the start of the first epistle of Paul the Apostle to the Corinthians. Gutenberg's outstanding typographic design and the contribution of several illuminators evidently working in a single stylistic tradition ensure that the Göttingen Bible is a priceless masterpiece of the craft of book production.